here with Ms. Volcanda, back with Wayne, and Wayne, something that I don't like to see when I'm watching um, baseball games is that, that third base player uh, holding the runner at third. What's your thought on that? Well, again, this is something that you never see this at the professional level. Right. So why do we see it at the amateur level? So, so let's start with the reason why we're holding runners on base in, in general. Fundamentally, the reason we hold runners on base is to prevent them from advancing to the next base. So when there's a runner on third base, it's highly unlikely that they're going to advance to home unless the ball's in play or there's uh, a uh, wild pitch or something of that nature. Very rarely does a runner actually steal ball. And, and what does it do re regarding uh, the, the, the coverage of the field? You know, by if you decide to hold a runner at third base, what are the cons, the disadvantages of having, um, having having that situation? Well, the obvious is the third baseman is now out of position right. and can't field their position effectively. And if you have a left-handed batter at the plate, the tendency might be for that third baseman to take a couple of steps towards shortstop position. But if they're focused only on the base runner, they're not in position. So, so you're basically playing with one less infielder that you would do normally. Well, absolutely. And, and the thing to consider here, if that runner is taking liberties at third base, it's really up to the catcher and the third baseman to set up a pickoff play. And communicate together. Absolutely. Exactly. So there we have it. So let's try to, to, to be on the same page and let's try to avoid having a situation where the third base uh, player is holding the runner at third base. Absolutely. Thank you for watching.